what, what, what's childhood like for you guys? Oh, childhood for us. We were both born and raised in Appalachia, um, Eastern Ohio. I was probably a half hour from the Ohio River in West Virginia, so oh, there you go. hill country, yeah, serious hill country. Um, my dad was a coal miner, he had an eighth grade education. And my mom was a stay at home mom until dad would start a business and, and put her in charge of running it. And when that failed, he'd go back to the coal mines and you know, he was, a, he was an entrepreneur all his life, but he never made it as an entrepreneur. So he always really made it as a coal miner, hmm. even though he hated it. And he always wanted to be an entrepreneur. So I guess I grew up lower than middle class, though I didn't know it at the time. Um, we just were, life, right? We were poor and I didn't know it. And what was your childhood like uh, most growing up? Um, it was very similar. I mean, I grew up on a dairy farm, so I have older brothers and an older sister. And my, both my parents worked too, so they did the farming on the side. So, so a I supplemental guess, type gig. Yeah, so I guess I've always, you know, kind of known that you got to have extra things mm -hmm. to be able to make it. So, but I would say, I mean, we didn't really go without, um, but we grew a lot of our own vegetables. We had a huge garden in the summertime and, you know, we had plenty of beef because we butchered our own, our own cows, so. Yeah. And you, you never went without, but you had to, you had to put the elbow grease in and well, the yeah. back end of everything yeah. for you. <laughs> we didn't get everything we wanted, but I mean, we got the bare, you know, we got the, the necessities that you needed as, you know, as a kid growing yeah. up. The absolute were always handled. Yeah. That's why I can always say. Yeah. I, mean, so I, I never yeah. went, I never went hungry. So tell me, as far as the entrepreneur thing goes, you know, your dad's, with your dad trying to start and then, you know, them not working, um, was there any sort of deterrent for you when it come to trying to no. start a business as never. a result of that? Never. That was never a deterrent. In fact, if anything, it, it drove me more. Really? Yeah. Why is that? You know, <clears throat> well, <laughs> my dad was a hard man. I mean, a hard man. And he, uh, he didn't show love. He showed, he was hard. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> he showed the opposite of love most times. And uh, I just, you know, from, as, from a child, I just always said, I'll show you. I'll show you. You don't think I can, but I'll show you. And that was the determination for me. All my life was to show my dad up. Mm -hmm. and to show him that he was wrong. That, that, that's what drove me, gosh, until he was dead and, and I was a father and successful and then I'm like, okay, I need something else to drive me. Yeah. And then I had to make that mental shift because, you know, I was chasing a ghost at that point. <laughs> no kidding. What, do you think, did you think that had any effect on your relationship with your dad as far as as you got older and started getting your footing underneath you? And it your... did, yeah. And, you know, and I would say his last two years of life, we probably had the best relationship we had, had ever in, wow. the, in my life with him. But it wasn't until, well, one day he showed up at my house and he, he said, I'm, I'm proud of you. He said, I, <laughs> he's like, you're 24 years old, and you make more money than I've ever made in my life. He's like, I'm, I'm really proud of you. And that was, you know, I never thought I'd ever hear those words out of his mouth. Because those were not words that came from men of that era, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah. And emotion was not something you did see much of. No, right? no, um, no. And, I, you know, I, it also drove me to have a completely different relationship with my kids and our kids. Um, you know, we show we show love, we show emotion. <clears throat> you know, I'm a, I'm a man, yeah, and I'm you know, big a man as anybody, but I don't mind hugging my son and telling him how proud I am of him and slapping him on the back and telling him I love him and you know, those were just things that our <laughs> our fathers could never have done. I don't yeah. know why, but men were just different back then. But he instilled in me, he used to say Tom, you don't ever want to work for somebody else. All you'll ever do is make them rich. You want to be your own man and you want to have your own thing. 
and that really I, I think probably the biggest other than my work ethic is the biggest thing I ever learned off my dad and growing up I knew I was going to be an entrepreneur didn't know in what but I knew I wouldn't work for anybody else any longer than I had to.